לתוך השקט צרחה של געגוע לרח השעמולה. Springtown Blossom was a good story to watch to see how, I mean, everything dealt with the disaster, not disaster, but pandemic. And to see like the way the city was before to how it is now, where everything's empty, closed up. And yeah, the narrative was good, seeing all that little journey, him riding his bike, holding the camera and everything. That was some interesting shots and just showing the before and after of what a city is and what it could be. It was interesting. I think this one was very beautifully done and it captures the essence of what's happening to cities right now. I think it was very nice that it was a poem and it had some very beautiful words like um, and even now she's just resting for a bit, a breather and or maybe you missed me more than you expected. Will you return to bloom? Your springtime blossom? Yes. Because I think that, you know, one day the cities will return to bloom and they'll, they'll blossom again and be full of life. A love song or video like dedicated to a city um, was so nice and so like fantastic because I think that it's something that most people can relate to, especially right now in the current climate. And I thought it was just really well done. I thought it was, you know, it sowed a lot of hope and inspiration into the video without covering up what was happening in the world, that things are going to look different, that th people are taking more precautions and things like that. I thought that it was really well done. Vista-oriented type of cinematography with great shots of things in the city from the main character's perspective. Um, it's the very dramatic music um, almost contrast the simplicity of the poem, uh, giving it more weight and more drama than it usually would have. This one was particularly poetic, as it's the description, but I loved how they merged the piano music with the whole the, the scenes and his the narrator, and it feels like melancholic movie. It is very touching and it is beautiful. Original language in which this movie was filmed uh, had rhymes. The entire story is in rhymes in the original language. And when I saw the credits about Tel Aviv, I thought this is either about the virus or it can be in any city that's under siege by some other forces. So it's a very, very symbolic movie that can apply to any desperate situation and describing the love for a city. It's, it's pretty beautiful, you know? It's, uh, it's, it's sad, it's tragic, the music works really well with it, but it's just a, uh, uh, like a, a poem that's just put to a um, uh, moving image. And... Yeah, I, I think it, it. What's what's really nice about this piece is that it's you know so extremely contemporary and relatable um, for I feel like everybody in the world right now, and it's uh, because it's so contemporary and a and a great depiction of what's going on. I feel like this is one film that like will only get better with age where whenever somebody comes back to revisit it and like learn about what's happening happening right now um they'll be able to watch this and, and relate and get a greater understanding of it so great job i like springtown blossom as a deep query and i uh, also appreciate the ending with a yes um anything is better than this stillness that we've grown accustomed to as of late and the isolation has really put um things into perspective so um i like this rhythmic perspective on being forced to compare one's outside versus one's inside um yeah it's always great to to see the perspective of others and uh this one was unique